Well, developing tonight, well, a lot of us are going stir crazy with restaurants and schools and gyms being closed. Tonight, though, some of the state's leading doctors say that the closures may not be needed, while others think that we should be doing even more. Team 12's Erica Stapleton gives us the different perspectives on the exit strategy. It's hard to predict because we're getting new data daily that could shape what happens next. On one hand, we have doctors saying to look at other states and other countries, saying that it could get worse here in Arizona before it gets better. But on the other hand, you have to consider public health is more than just COVID-19. COVID-19, it's all Dr. Julianne Heathcott can think about. How many people will die? Her women's care practice in Scottsdale is already rationing supplies after cutting down on non-essential appointments. And she's disheartened to see some coming. others aren't doing their part. If people do not do the social distancing, it is so scary how many lives will be lost simply because somebody cannot stay home. She's calling on Governor Doug Ducey to put the state on lockdown to order people to shelter in place. It's a petition thousands of others have gotten behind in just a couple days. The sooner we act, the better off we will be. But in a Phoenix City Council meeting Monday, Dr. Rebecca Sunshine, Maricopa County's top infectious disease specialist, took a different tone. What we don't want people to do is have to sit still in their home for, you know, months and months and months. She said she didn't agree with measures to close down restaurants or even schools. We want people to go outside. We want people to stay six feet away from each other. Dr. Sunshine is not downplaying the disease, but saying the most extreme precautions, like sheltering at home, should be for those who are most vulnerable. I think um, Dr. Sunshine was saying something that a lot of people are thinking. It's a reality. Dr. Will Humble, former director of Arizona's Department of Health Services, can get behind. Socializing is absolutely a fundamental human need. So we've got to balance the risks and the benefits. He says it's important to look at this problem as a whole puzzle, not just the big scary piece that is COVID-19, that the economic stress we're already starting to see could do more damage long term than the virus. The trade off on the rest of, you know, the impact on public health outweighs the risk of some extra cases. Dr. Humble says things like testing experimental medicine and availability of supplies could change the trajectory of when we start to see leaders roll back some of those restrictions. And he doesn't think it's anything that can be decided right now because things are changing by the minute. In Phoenix, Erica Stapleton, 12 News.